introduce you to chemist Henry Cavendish. How's it going, Henry? Fine, thanks. Henry is known for the Cavendish experiment. He was the first person to measure the force of gravity between masses in a laboratory and to produce an accurate value for the Earth's density. Correct. His work led to accurate values for the gravitational constant G. What's up, G? Yo. And the Earth's mass. The measurement of the gravitational constant allowed the mass of the Earth to be calculated for the first time. This also allowed the calculation of the masses of the sun, the moon, and the other planets. The first time this constant was used was in 1873, almost 100 years after the Cavendish experiment. Mm -hmm. Variations of Cavendish's results are still used today. Indeed. Now for this experiment, he used a device with a torsion balance, like that to measure the gravitational attraction between two 350-pound lead spheres and a pair of two-inch 1.61-pound lead spheres. Using this experiment, Cavendish found that the Earth's average density is 5.48 times greater than that of water. It turns out that any two masses have a gravitational attraction for one another. If you put two bowling balls near each other, they will attract one another gravitationally. The attraction is extremely slight, but you could measure the attraction if you had the right equipment. From that measurement, you could determine the mass of the two bowling balls. The measurement of our planet's weight is derived from the gravitational attraction that the Earth has for objects near it. Cavendish performed his experiment in an outbuilding in the garden of his estate. For years afterward, his neighbors would point out the building and tell their children that this is where the world was weighed.